sing hallelujah the lamb is overcome we sing hallelujah the lord everybody god is so good and truly the lord's mercy it endures until the end the bible says in the book of revelations i want to read in your hearing beginning um, chapter 1 verse 5 and from jesus christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto god and his father to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever amen behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so amen i am alpha and omega the beginning and the ending saith the lord which is and which was and which is to come the almighty I have a question for you. Which side are you on? Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word. I pray in Jesus name, Jesus of Nazareth. I pray that your word go forth in clarity. I pray father that those that should hear would hear, have a spirit to hear. God give us understanding today. I pray father. I ask that your people would be edified and you, my Lord would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart father let it be acceptable in thy sight O lord my strength and my redeemer i pray and i ask these things in the mighty name of jesus amen john was sent to the isle that is called patmos for preaching the word of god and testifying as a witness of Jesus Christ. Little did his persecutors know that John was going to record one of the greatest revelations of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, this final judgment of God. The apostles, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Simon, Judas, the son of James, they were eyewitnesses of Jesus and his life on this earth. You know, they carry the pure gospel of Jesus. The apostles told about Jesus' death, his burial, and his resurrection. And they told of those involved, even to their detriment they did not care hallelujah for they had been with jesus here in the book of revelation through the suffering of the apostle john the apocalypse was given hallelujah that word apocalypse it means a writing prophesying a catechism you know a violent change and upheaval in which evil forces are destroyed and that's exactly what Jesus is going to do upon his return his first the first time Jesus walked on this earth he came as the lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world no man could do it because the person that could redeem us could only be spotless the bible teaches that all born of man because of what adam did we're all born in to sin no one is without sin 
it says in Romans, the fifth chapter, the 12th verse, wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned. And so it had to be someone born without sin. And so God the Father sent God the Son. The Bible declares, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe it on him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God, in his great mercy, that grace that we received, that, you know what? We didn't earn it. It was a gift from God. And mercy. You know we did not get what we deserved. But Jesus put it on him. Jesus hung on the cross for our sins. And this is what the apostles. When they went out preaching to tell the world the good news that Jesus had taken away the sins of the world uh, that you could have a new life in Christ and again they did it to their detriment but again they did not care here in the book of Revelation again there's going to be a cataclysm you know a great change that's going to occur which side will you be on hallelujah jesus again scripture says in revelation the first chapter and the fifth verse it says that jesus is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. Jesus got up and guess what? We're getting up as well. Hallelujah. We no longer have to fear death. Oh death, oh death, where is your sting? In the grave, where is your victory? Jesus has done it for us. Hallelujah. He took the sting out of death glory to his name it says and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood that's some kind of love we did not deserve it but yet jesus died he said for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross can you imagine hallelujah when we see him can you imagine kneeling at his feet can you imagine saying thank you jesus for redeeming us thank you jesus for loving us even when we were unlovable some of us were you know bound in sin some of us like the apostle paul going around you know killing and and watching christians being killed i should say and wreaking havoc you know persecuting them but yet god saved him and used him for his glory can you see king david and all that he did but God still loved him because David put his trust in him even though he was not perfect God still used King David can you see Moses slapping that rock you know in anger but God still used him can you see Moses murdering you know those that Egyptian can you see David murdering that um, Uriah for his wife but God in his great mercy he still used them God wants to use you as well God wants to use you for his glory if you would yet put your trust 
in him. He's calling you today. Hallelujah. There's room at the banquet table for you. There's still room and you still have time. Hallelujah. Because as of this moment, Jesus has not returned just yet. So you still have time to give your life to the Lord. It says in Revelations 1, 6 again, and hath made us kings and priests unto God oh hallelujah we got even a portion of his inheritance he gave us what we did not deserve he took raggedy people and made us kings and priests unto God ministering unto God able to go behind the veil Jesus was our great high priest he went one time behind and now we can go boldly before the throne of grace oh do you know what God has done for you do you know the great treasure that we have do you know know all that he or realize all that he has done we serve a great God who is over all he controls all things he is almighty hallelujah he can do all things and just think we can have a relationship with this great God who is the king of kings and the lord of lords who owns everything a cattle on the thousand hills belongs to our God he is the great I am he is the true and the living God I like how the prophet said I see him high and lifted up seated on the throne and the train of his robe fills the temple with glory there is no God like Jehovah glory there is no God beside him who is like our God who can do what he does he has declared to his people he will never leave us nor forsake us hallelujah greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world and if he is for us if God be for us who can be against us he is a great God he is El Shaddai he is Yahweh Rapha the Lord our healer he is El Roy the strong one and I can go on and on he is everything he told Moses to tell him I am that I am oh we serve a great God uh, that has done great things going back to verse 6 it says and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him to Jesus be glory and dominion glory be that means honor praise and worship dominion that means power and authority and it rightly belongs to him forever and ever amen it says verse 7 behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so amen oh again i came to ask you tonight which side will you be on see that's an alert to those who have not surrendered this verse seven you still have time hallelujah verse eight says i am alpha and omega the beginning and the ending saith the Lord which is and which was and which is to come the almighty hallelujah I want you to know that the prophecy of redemption found in the book of Genesis the third chapter and the 15th verse it came to pass when Mary gave birth, you know, she was a virgin, gave birth to our Lord and Savior. Everything that God prophesies comes to pass. I want you to know, just as all prophecies that God prophesied come to pass, 
this also shall come to pass in the book of Revelation. I want you to know that God is real and the judgments again in this revelation, they shall come to pass. The question tonight again for you is which side will you be on? one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.